Hey, super brave, beautiful friends. My name is Joe Carlesi, the super brave teacher. And today we are gonna talk about my daily prayer. Yes, friends, like I said, I am Joe Carlesi, the super brave teacher. And every time you watch these videos, you are helping to shift the narrative so that people like me, queer teachers like me, LGBTQ plus teachers like me, have more visibility and voice so that we watch more videos and we're like, hey, that person's kind of awesome. Or hey, I see myself in that person. Or hey, I don't see myself in that person, but I know someone who might. And it shifts the narrative little by little because we can't just say that it's okay to accept people. We have to live that. So thank you for living that acceptance with these videos. So today, friends, I'm gonna be a little vulnerable because I'm gonna let you know that I struggle with prayer. I grew up my whole life pray, praying in a family that had prayers before meals, after meals, before bed, um, all the time throughout the day. And it was something that was very just ritualistic with me and very calming for me and something that I loved to do. And now as an adult, as an out and proud gay teacher, it is hard for me to hold both that I still struggle with that past and I still wanna keep praying. So I've gone through different routes. I've gone through the routes of proclaiming, you know, life is a prayer and everything we do, God knows or our higher power knows, therefore everything is a prayer. So I don't necessarily need to sit down and say, dear God or dear love or anything like that because God already knows. So that's where I've been probably for the past few years, but I've gotten back in the habit of daily prayer and for me, what I like about daily prayer is not just rambling and rambling, but keeping it really simple. So my daily prayer as of late has gone like this. The light in you is all I see. And I keep praying that. The light in you is all I see. The light in you is all I see. The light in you is all I see. And I like keeping it that simple because it's almost like God fills in the blanks for me. So when whatever, wherever I'm at in life, I just keep praying that prayer. So if I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I say, you know, Joel, the light in you is all I see. And if I'm struggling with anger or resentment or anxiety, I look at people around me and I say, the light in you is all I see. Or if I'm even struggling with God or a higher power, I say, you know what? The light in you is all I see. And it almost like, you can maybe hear it in the tone of my voice, it almost just melts me and it returns me to the beauty of light and the beauty of love. And it keeps it really simple, especially for someone like me who likes to overcomplicate things. So I'm gonna say it with you. The light in you is all I see. And the more I pray that prayer, I recognize that the other person is me. Like the more I just say the light in you is all I see, the more I also see that like the light in you is the light in me, that whole namaste thing, that whole idea of saying like, wait, the reason I'm frustrated with you is because I'm probably frustrated with me. And the reason I'm frustrated that this is going on is probably because I'm frustrated that this is going on, right? And it keeps it super simple so that I don't need to think, okay, what's the right way to do this? What's the wrong way to do this? How am I, no. The light in you is all I see. So I'm gonna keep it simple like that this week and encourage you to maybe pray the same prayer that I'm praying or maybe take it to whatever way you need to take it. Like the love in you is all I see. The peace in you is all I see. It's beautiful. I'm kind of at speechless right now. I'm kind of at a loss of words. So do that, do that, do that. And friends, the light in you is all I see. The light in you is all I see. The light in you is all I see. And Joel, the light in you is all I see. Keep shining. Keep sparking bravery. Bye friends.